Hey guys, it's me, PaperMaster123, here with another video, and today, I have a special guest, and he is... Hello, all gaming. Stop. And today, we are going to be looking at the Pikmin 4 trailer, which I hope that we're going to bring to the channel, and it to be a very popular series, because Pikmin is one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. And, um... I'm also going to talk about some of the stuff that I've thought about for Pikmin while I'm doing this. And also some of my own ideas that they could bring to the series. Here yeah. we go. I like the wind vane like propeller on the ship. That's really cool. It really looks like an escape pod, too. I wonder if the ice Pikmin have yellow flowers. Cause like all the new Pikmin have had their own color flowers and that's what the logo had been made out of. Okay, one thing I really want to look at really quick here is the in the bottom right are the birds. And those birds look like um, pretty much smaller snaggrets, but they aren't scaly. And also in the background is one of Law Gaming's favorite things. Those darn beetles, why? And they're going to make be a lot of fun for people. Also, but in the background, you also see that little yo-yo type thing there. And it looks just like a standard yo-yo that someone left there, which, I mean... It reminds me of the Pikmin 2 yo-yo, though, which... I mean, all the collectibles in Pikmin 2 were just everyday items. But this one looks specifically like the exact model of the Pikmin 2 one. It also looks like... The oh, there definitely is. There. And those cracked pots... Well, we'll get to that in a second. So I think this is Olimar's son, specifically because of the red hair. And we always see him with the red hair. If not, it's probably going to be a brand new person, but I still hope it's Olimar's son. I think it could either be Olimar's kid, or just a completely new member like they did in Pikmin 3. I wonder... I wonder if we'll have four, because like Pikmin 1 had one character, 2 had two, 3 had 3. I mean, four playable I mean, characters. Because like... Yeah, because we did have four. There just... There did appear to be... That's later in the trailer, but... Still, we don't know who can control all four of them. Yeah, that is true, but it would be pretty cool to have four, but also, if there were automated people, aka they controlled themselves, and we, they sort of helped out any way they could, that would also be a pretty cool idea for that. But they might not be controllable in that case. That would be fun. So, let's head on to the next part. Okay. I really just don't like the look of this onion. It looks, like, too soft, like... It just looks a lot more organic to me. Well, to me, it just looks wrong. There seems to be something wrong with it. Like, I don't know. Maybe they could have done it, like, just a little bit better. Um, made it more armored like the last. Made it similar to the last. Maybe. Who knows? But, uh... I think that they this also might be another planet due to the fact that this onion's the way that it is. I mean, look at it. It looks completely different than the last two. People are saying that Pikmin 3 was a different planet than Pikmin 2, and the onion type completely changed between all three of the worlds. So I hope this might be from a new world. Who knows? So well, the next thing about this is just it looks just... A little, this widely different from the rest. Looks sort of more like a tomato than an onion. It also could just be they're going for a more natural look because, like, the other ones look like machines, whereas this one looks like an organic life form. Yeah, you might be right about that. It does look a little bit nicer that way. Oh yeah, standard dig spot. Oh yeah, there's definitely a dig spot there. Okay, now to move on to the next thing. Which is the the which 
there and do the red Pikmin. Okay, at least we know how the Pikmin is. Yeah, they brought back some enemies from Pikmin 2. Hello. It seems like they bring back just a lot of enemies. Yeah, they brought back enemies from Pikmin 1, from Pikmin 2. So yeah. Barely. Uh, you see that? There's also this thing in the background in the back right. I don't know exactly what it is. It looks quite strange. Like it's something that you collect in the future or something. Almost looks like the Pikmin uh, onion in a way. And you can climb walls, do a lot more features. And a climbable. Oh, wait, enemy. New there's enemy. A, there's an enemy in the top left. Look, either it sucks or blows. Oh, definitely. But it seems like the new character is a lot more athletic than all the old characters. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Maybe this one will have a jump. Yeah, like the one in the uh, Nintendo world, I think. Nintendo something. Um, oh, oh, yeah, in Nintendo Land. But that was because that was less of a traditional Pikmin game. Yeah, it's less known, but it still was a good game. Also, that looks like a Roomba in the sand. Kind so. of, but it wouldn't be glowing if it would be buried in the sand like that. <laughs> Who knows, that might be a new enemy. Yeah, it would be nice to see more of those. Also, I think this is an ability that... I mean, I they've had it in every game since, too, so I'd assume they would. Yeah, I, I would like that they brought abilities back. Yeah, you just find random treasures after beating a boss. Uh, that, yeah, that was the Pikmin 2 one. I actually think 3 was a lot more fun, because, like, they weren't stuff that was required. They were merely quality of life things, and you weren't forced to get it, like... For most of the Pikmin 2 upgrades, after you beat a boss, you were given the upgrade. But in Pikmin 3, you had to actually go out of your way to find secrets to find little things that help you. Like the fi like resistance to crush fire, ice, and then the dodge whistle, which was my personal favorite. I love the fact that you can just make the Pikmin stronger. Okay, that, that would have been useful, but with the multiple captains thing, it's very easy to just have someone on plucking duty. Pluck a phone. Okay. Okay, it really looks like there are multiple areas being Oh, yeah, here. I mean, every game has had multiple landing spots. I doubt they had. What I mean right now is landing spots within the same world. I don't mean just normal landing spots. I mean, these are multiple landing spots in zone one, it seems. They all go I together. Mean, I mean, I don't, I would see why, but they better not do just that and not the multiple continents thing. Yeah, they definitely need more multiple continents. It doesn't mm -hmm. work well without that. Also, I feel like they got a ton of inspiration right here from both the White Pikmin and from the Ultra Bitter Spray. Which, it was a pretty good spray back during Pikmin 2. Rock? No, the the bitter spray. The, the, spray. Um, the ultra. You mean ultra spray? spicy spray? No, no, no. The ultra bitter spray. The opposite of that one. No, I don't. Okay, so it's pretty much a purple spray that you use during Pikmin Two. Oh, now I remember. I it's been a while since I've seen that game. Yeah, yeah, it was that spray. It was too overpowered. <laughs> That bowl will drop nectar. I really hope. I wonder how you get oh, them out of there. Oh, they definitely are. I, like, they are definitely stuck in there. But I really hope that you can get them out. Like, I wonder I how. think that it's a timer-based thing. Like, they're stuck in there for this long. Don't get caught when they're about to leave or else the water will reform. And you've just killed all your Pikmin. But what happens to those Pikmin that get stuck in there? Like, do you have to pluck them out or something? I mean, it seems they can, considering they freeze it. Like, can they survive in the water? But that just invalidates blues. And there's the doggo. 
And this dog really reminds me why I think it's all of my son is because the dogs in there said that his son had a very close connection to their dog. And also, this is also a bread bug species, which is pretty cool. We haven't seen a domesticated one this, this entire time. Um, they're sort of descendants of the bull boy. No. Yes. I feel bad for whoever's part of me that is. <laughs> okay, the wind up a second. Is. Yeah, they're the four people. But can we control them all is the question, because... It looks like only one of them has... Oh, wait, no, all four of them have the suit whistle. But also, what kind of a name is Shepard? I don't think... I think it's more of a job script name. It's more of like a military term, or like a commander term or something. That's what it reminds me of. It's sort of that name. Why are you upside down? Okay, tell me this doesn't invalidate the blue Pikmin. Yeah, move, nice movement speed upgrade, because we really have never had movement speed. Also, uh, do you, my inspiration for this actually I mean, came... no, because blues can go under the water. Yeah, I guess you're right about that one. Also, uh, my idea for this was like a, some sort no, of... No, I think the Ice Pikmin just land in the water and freeze it, rather than going under it. Wait, are you saying that the white pig, the ice pigment would die? From I that? mean, that very much may be a trade-off. Pigment is no stranger to forcing you to sacrifice your Pikmin. So you're saying that in order to uh, to cross the water with ice, that we have to lose all the yellow the uh, ice Pikmin. That sucks. Also, there's a bunch of stuff in the background that you could probably collect. Also, this just invalidates blues even more. And also, Bo there's, there seems to be a ship. Boat. There's a boat in the water. Can we drive the boat? No. That's for sure. I highly doubt that. Hmm. <laughs> Also, they brought back the caves. This is one of the best decisions that they could have. Also, another idea that I had was actually to have these ki like people. I mean, yeah, they said castaway. Like, my plot current working theory is that big ship that we see near the end of the trailer is what came in, crashed similar to how Subnautica did, and we're sent in as a rescue party. Well, my well, I my idea for my own Pikmin game, which I was thinking about, was actually to have these people which were lost explorers. They were left behind, aka castaways. They were just left there, or they were just unheard of. So pretty much they sent tons and tons to said Pikmin planet, and they just lost them. They didn't respond, didn't come back. This could be some sort of rescue craft. Because the craft looks too small in general to be a giant cruise ship or something. It looks just too small for however many castaways there could be. That could be it, but I still think exploded ship, similar to how Subnautica was. I mean, I guess you could be right about that, but still, like... How many are we talking about? Because if it's a small number, yeah, it could work. If it's a big number, no. They can fit an entire... Think about it, Think about it this way. What was bigger, the binoculars or your tiny ship? Okay, the binoculars were wider than the ship, but not bigger. And height. The thing, they have shrinking technology in this universe. It's no stranger that they'd be able to shrink people down and cram a bajillion and one into that little ship. Yeah, I guess you could, I guess that does have a valid point, but still, like, you'd think it wouldn't. I mean, that's my theory. I mean, it's not bad, I'm not disproving it, but I'm just saying, maybe not, it just doesn't look right that way. But besides that, I like the castaways, it's really a nice addition and a good idea to this. Also, caves. Pick 
I'm gonna say oh, wow. it's three per area, totaling if it's the same five that every other game has had, totaling fifteen. Which, I mean, standard, standard like heavy exploration, especially if this is continuing after Pikmin three when they discovered, hey, there's fruit. And hey, there's a lot more different things than just fruit. Let's go check it out. Send a research party, considering of an animal tamer being Shepard, and a, com a captain and an engineer, plus a bunch of random scientists, all specializing in different things. Yeah, that is actually a pretty good idea. Also, I hope they bring back the Piclopedia. That was pretty cool. And um, yeah, that's good. And here's. Okay! Here's what I'm gonna call Rave Long Legs. I, yeah, this this was his great name for it. I <laughs> love that name. I highly doubt it, but like, look. also, let's talk about this new Pikmin icon. You just have yeah. no idea how many. Like, if this is the actual gameplay, you just don't know how many Pikmin you have in your party until you mouse over them. Cause like. The only indicator is the curt number above your thing. Unless the full HUD is not on screen, because spoilers in the full HUD. Or you can only look at the full HUD whenever you pause the game, which would be... Crazy. I highly doubt that. I think they... I think there may be more than one captain, and they only wanted to show one captain. So, in order to avoid spoilers, they just hid the HUD, because every time, all the captain's health bars are in the HUD. Yeah, that is true. Also, what is this weird thing in the background? Do you see that? Like, the little counter with the little... That's the flag, sort of... I think. No, 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 in the background. Oh, the counter? Yeah, like that little thing like that looks like a... I thought... that... Oh, that's a pinging thing. By the way, I love that attack right there, but also, look at this. It looks like it's made out of bone and tar and random sort of, like, tendrils and stuff. It's very different than... I mean, he does appear to be a lot more flesh. Yep, very much so. And it looks like you also have to break his leg before they can even start to climb to break his ankle to then break his face. Or you could just break the face in the first place. I mean, that's always been a strategy, considering you've always been able to eat yellow Pikmin up there and some other Pikmin without actually having to climb it. Not Pikmin 3, though. That doesn't seem to kill Pikmin, though. There's Ultra also, Spicy look at this. Spray, I think. No, 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 no. That's not Ultra Spicy Spray. It looks like some sort of confusing icon or something to, like, confuse the Pikmin, get it to, I don't know, attract to it? I think they're just Ultra Spicy. I Actually, that's an auto that might be an auto attack. Because, look, they see... No, go back. They seem to be jumping at it as if trying to get onto it. I think that's an auto attack. I mean, I mean, it does sort of look like that. If we have an auto attack, that's going to be overpowered. Empress Bull Black. Ah, uh, yes. It spawns in these guys that can one shot your Pikmin easily. I mean, they always have. Every enemy. I don't think there's an enemy that wasn't an instant KO. No, no, no. This one is, like, you can't kill them to get your Pikmin back and keep mm -hmm. them alive. It just kills them, period, whenever they attack. Also, I really like these new vents. They're pretty cool. Yeah, that ship. I, I guarantee, like, that ship crashed. And we gotta save it. Yeah. Also, maybe. I. It looks like they have the same mechanic of ice as they did for purple and white. So um, yeah, that is true. You could only see it really in the cave. Also, there's a little radar just there, which is pretty cool. Maybe you can see stuff earlier in the game. I mean, who knows? It's, and then also, there might be some more upgrades and stuff. I mean. Who knows, that might be an upgrade to the ship, like in uh, Pikmin 3. And this time they just gave it a, vis it a vis uh, visual appearance instead of just, hey, this is here. Also, I really think those gems might be coins. Or oh, fuel. definitely currency. They're definitely a currency. They're maybe a shop.
if my theory is right and this is like a research lab or maybe even a colony attempting to colonize, then that would be a, a form of currency to buy things. You may have a store in this game to buy things like ultra spicy spray or even upgrades for your captain. A store would really be nice, but I also sort of hope that this is also um, a fuel source. So maybe something like the sparklium of Harry Well, I mean, the only one that's in danger at night is the Pikmin. We've never seen... The captains are never really in danger. Yeah. But also, they... But it, it can't lift off. So maybe they are in danger this time. And introducing nighttime. Who knows? We may be able to... We may be able to explore Don't... at night. Okay, those down there, those are definitely the uh, star bits from the Mario series. Galaxy? I mean, that would be a twist. Just randomly Mario. Yeah, there is definitely, that's definitely star bits. Or that new thing from the Sonic game, whatever that is. But that's not a gem, it's more, more like the actual star bits or something. Stardust? Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so, what this reminds me of is, in Pikmin 2, there was a boss battle that, like, would lock on to your captain and instantly go for it, and it, every captain you switch to, it would change to that captain. I forgot what the name of the guy was. There are a lot of slug creatures that you fight in Pikmin 2. No, 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 it's just, it's like, uh, it was in Pikmin 2 I Okay, I don't remember the name, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Myoclops? No, 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 not the My Myoclops. Whatever it, it targets is. whatever captain you're using rather than the Pikmin, so it goes for your kill on you instead of them. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Either that, or this could be some sort of enrage ability, heightened senses. It looks like it has a target, because it immediately turns and runs towards the destination. Another thing that he was, we were thinking, I believe you introduced it, is like a mind control? That's what, that was your idea. Oh. Was it? Oh, yeah. I just wondered what... I just said, what do you think of it? And you said, mind control or a heightened sense. You see, look, it just goes straight for something with no deviation. Also, we finally have a release date of 7 23 Pre-order now. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.